Hi, it's Anne from the Useless Crafter. So today I'm getting ready to do my annual jewelry trinket, um, oh there it is, there, you can see it a little bit better, um, dishes. These are adorable, sorry, there it is. Um, I love making them. I use um, Cricut adhesive foil and it comes in um, a few different colors. This one is the sampler package and so I love all of them. The important thing when you're, when you're doing this is that you have a very sharp blade. So when you have a sharp blade, you can cut that and here's the deal. So I'm actually showing you quite a few things today that I want you to go and either download or purchase. Um, hold on <laughs> let me show you okay so first thing is here's my amazon shop so it's amazon.com slash shop slash the useless crafter when you're on this site you can um it's by categories of projects um or just general categories so the one that i want to show you is if you scroll down and you go to cricket related products so this isn't tied to any specific project but it's just things that you would use um, if you have a Cricut, and of course you do, otherwise you wouldn't, you wouldn't be watching me right now. Um, but I wanted to show you these blades. So I am sometimes like a very much a, like a label person, not when it comes to clothes or purses, but labels in, um, crafting, um, products, because I feel like sometimes you get what you pay for. And so, you know, the Cricut, I mean, you, paid 400 bucks for it or whatever. Um, at least I did back in the day. But these blades are amazing. First of all, get the blue ones. The, I use the blue ones exclusively. And look at how many comes in this thing. Um, it's 30 pieces for $10. So you know what? When I need to cut adhesive foil, you bet I'm putting in a new blade. And that's how you can do it, right? And then that blade, of course, I don't throw it away or anything. I then use it to cut paper or whatever afterwards. But um, <clears throat> when I have very specific, delicate things, I will definitely put in a new blade because for 30 pieces for $10, yes it will happen. All right. So anyway, thank you for using my link. I wanted to show you how to do that. Next thing I want you to download is Font Lab Pad. So Font Lab Pad is free. I will not be using this that much anymore. So what you want to do is you type in fontlab.com, um, enter in your email. They will send you the link to download this for free. Um, what it does is it's this this program. So then you pick your font. So like I, you know, I have a bunch of recent fonts that I always use. So I like my Hannah Berry Coup, of course, that one cuts so beautifully. Um, but anyway, look at what it does for you. So it will type in, you can type in whatever and it, you know, the, it kerns it for you so that the letters are all attached and beautiful so you don't have to move them in design space. So I don't even know what names I'm trying to think of uh, names right now. So you can see how quickly that happens, right? And then all you do is you hit file, save as. So I'm going to do, I'm jewelry um, dishes. And you want to make sure that you save it as an SVG file. So I'm going to click save. Then we're going to go into design space and I already have it open. This is what we're doing today. So it looks just there, you can see it. These are so pretty, people love it. And first of all, the dishes are, um, I get them at Daiso, so it's that Japanese, um, I don't even know what kind of, it's just like a general Japanese store. It has, it doesn't have food, but it has like makeup, stationery, kitchen stuff. So this is under the kitchen area. I love these dishes. They're perfect to stick your gift card in here and then you wrap it. So you have like a nice thoughtful gift on top of the nice money gift. <laughs> so, okay, these are all, I mean, this is my go-to for teachers, um, for any, you know, like any hired help that we use. I, I love it. So, okay. So yeah, I'm going to show you more stuff. So if you don't know how to add these flourishes and I like to, I like these flourishes. Um, I worked with my friend Allie to have this on Creative Fabrica because we know that it cuts well. It has the details that we like, but it still cuts and weeds nicely. Um, 
if you don't know how to do this and sometimes when you get you buy your fonts you think it comes with it but it's not that easy and it doesn't connect well we made sure that these um, beginning and end pieces they connect pretty much with any font any letter doesn't matter what letter you end with or start with it works so let me show you where you get that and you can you can easily do these on your own but if you wanted to purchase it and not you know find an arrow and add it on and the hearts you can go to give me a second so this is create a fabrica you type in flourishes an arrow and this is from my favorite designer it's um straw sticks and bricks so she has this for a dollar so if you wanted to you can just add it there you, you can buy it and, and then download it and then upload it into design space okay now we're finally going to get into the thing after i've shown you everything where to buy and how to download so we're going to go to upload because we want to upload all those names right so upload image browse and it was on my desktop and i named it jewelry something <laughs> So here we go, jewelry dishes. And it's just taking a second. I wonder, okay. I will show you the video on how to add these, apply it to the actual trinket dishes but it's really easy. You wanna make sure that when you put it on your transfer tape, when you go to put it on here, first off is you wanna make sure that you wipe it down with rubbing alcohol first so that um, all your oils and whatever on your fingers is wiped away so that the sticker stays on there. This is from last year. I've used it and I, I just dumped everything off of this right now so I can bring it down here. This is mine and I definitely do use it. So it's been a year and you can see, let me see if I can get closer. It's delicate. It's got thin lines. It has the arrow um, and it didn't lift. So I love this thing. Um, all right. So, oh, so when you have it on your transfer sheet, what you want to do is you, you want to lay down the middle first and then go out this way and push it down and then go this side and push it down that way you don't have any bubbles it's important because if you have bubbles it's going to lift so <clears throat> even if you push it down you think you're all good but it will eventually pop back up so you want to make sure that when you're laying this down you go from middle out and it's going to push out all your bubbles and it's going to lay flat okay so here are the names that we just did right so you want to click save <clears throat> And I have some fake names in there, so we'll delete those in a second. But the next thing that you want to do is you want to measure these dishes. So when I'm measuring it, you don't want to measure it from left to right. <clears throat> you want to measure the space that you can actually put the sticker in, right? And the dish curves up. So I kind of want to end where it's flat because I don't want to make this any more difficult for myself with my transfer tape. Um, so in this case, the whole thing needs to be about seven and a half inches, um, seven and a half inches and two inches. So that should be easy to memorize. So I say now, right? Okay. So let's click on this and insert. Okay. So I did the first one for you. The reason why I like using font my pad is I will show you in a second. I'll use the same font. Wow, it's really slow today. But I'll use the same font and I'll do one name and you'll see that it doesn't connect itself, right? Um, so it's a pain in the butt. It's okay when you're only doing one name or if you, you know your name is like mine, two letters, <laughs> then I don't always use Font Lab Pad. But as soon as I'm doing a project or I'm doing gifts for many people, there is no way that I'm doing um, like a handwriting font in design space because I'm not uh, moving each one to make sure that it connects. So while we're waiting, wow, design space is crazy today. Um, trying to think if there's anything else I want to tell you. Um, I definitely do like the adhesive foil for this. If you are watching this, shoot, I'm not going to release this this week. But, you know, if you follow me on Instagram or Facebook, um, 
I recommend that only because I do tell you when to go purchase things. So when I when I purchase it, so when it's at 50% off um, is when I go onto Cricut um, and purchase my foil and all that good stuff. And right now there's like quite a bit of deals. So, and I also tell you when to shop at Michael's to buy your paper and Joanne's open stock cardstock where you can buy the 12 by 24 glitter cardstock um things like that so um please follow me it's the useless crafter on instagram so the useless crafter on instagram there's no spaces so it's all one word but on facebook you can type that in the um the space useless space crafter and then of course you're already on youtube um okay i don't know what's going on but let's see if it lets me continue okay so i'm gonna change my font to the one that we just used and let's see if it lets me do anything here okay it does all right so let's do one of the names that i know i'm doing which is my daughter's teacher so here we go so when i type it in okay there it is okay so it's coming in let's move this to the side okay so you know i know what to do let's ungroup this for a second And it's taking so long, I'm sorry. So what I wanna do is basically ungroup it and weld each name together. Now, sometimes when it's so small like this, um, I make it bigger and then I weld it. And let's see if we have any issues with things like closing up. Okay, so I'm gonna do this one and I'm gonna weld it. And let's see if anything closes up. Okay, so these look like they're fine. I'm gonna get rid of these two names because I'm not doing those. Um, I already have Michelle, so I'll get that one. Okay, so this one I'm going to weld. And when you weld it, so you see how each letter is its own line item over here? It's taking up a lot of space. And I should have thought about that before I brought in so many names because that does slow down design space. So I like to weld them. You want to weld them anyway because when you do your cuts, I'm going to show you right now what I'm talking about. Um, this one did not weld yet. If you don't weld it, I'm going to show you with this one. Okay, so I'm going to make it really big so you can see it. And then I'm going to change the color so you can really, really, really see what I'm talking about. And I've done this a few times in my different videos because it drives me insane. So do you see, while it's all connected, it is still separate letters. Because look at the S, the S and the U, the U is gonna cut like this. So you're going to have everything connected, but you're gonna have individual letters. And it's actually, it looks way worse in person because right now in design space, each one of these letters, it's either in the front or in the back. But in real life, your S would actually look like this. Your S would cut into that U like that. Um, your S would cut into, into your A like that. It looks horrible, right? And I see this on projects a lot of times and I feel bad for people who you know, haven't quite learned all the ins and outs of design space because I think that looks horrible. What it should look like is if you grab all of this, you still need to make that extra step of welding it. So when you weld it, it all flows as one image. And look, even right here, this connection now, um, you don't have that line right here. And so the S blends into the U, into the S, into the A, into the N. So it's a beautiful connected font. So that's what you want. So we, did we weld all these? Yes. Okay, but this is if you didn't use Font Lab Pad and you just went into Design Space and you typed out the name Susan, this is what you get. So I see a lot of people say, go ahead and decrease your letter space and that works for a little bit. And you see how they're moving closer and closer, but here's where you run into some problems. The space between the S and the U, you can see it's this much, but look at the space between the U and the S. It's not equal. So at some point, you're gonna get the S connected to the U, but the U is not connected to the S. It still doesn't work. So 
If you're only doing one name, I would ungroup it and then I would individually move each one of these letters over. That takes so much time and while the name Susan is okay, this doesn't work when you have like two T's next to each other because if you notice a lot of times with these beautiful fonts, when you have two T's next to each other, you have like one beautiful loop that connects the top of the T, right? But you won't get that if you do it this way. You're gonna get one and then another one and they overlap and they don't look pretty. So honestly, you've got to use like Inkscape or Font Lab Pad, both of those programs are free, so you have no excuses. <laughs> and I show you how to do it in Inkscape. I get it, Inkscape is a beast, and I don't know how to do very much in it, but I've shown you many times how easy it is to do that, so you can always get that. All right, so here's Susan. And the other thing is, um, do you see how the U right here is connected to the S? I mean, I feel like when you use it in other programs, the letters connect the way the designer intended it to be. So the designer intended it for the S to connect with the U like this, not like this, but this still looks good to me. Okay, I'm gonna delete this. Now, what you wanna do is, you wanna make sure that your flourishes kinda match the width of your letters because you want it to connect, um, like, you know, smoothly, right? So that looks good to me. So then I'm gonna move this one over and connect it right around. That looks good to me. Okay, so now what you do is you grab these three items and you wanna weld it because again, if you don't weld it, there's gonna be an end to your little, it's gonna cut off like this. So here's Susan. Now this is perfectly proportionate. The letters are proportionate to the flourishes. Now I need to make sure that it fits on my jewelry dish. So on this, I'm going to get to the point where I'm at seven inches. So at seven inches, this is 1.3. So I'm gonna look to see how big 1.3 is. 1.3 is kind of on the small end and I can actually go a little bit more. So here's where I made my mistake, okay? Do you see how this goes up and this is counting the beginning of my height? This is the tallest thing on here. So if I were to undo this, what I would do is, let me show it to you on this one. So I would have just maybe moved this down a little bit. That would have given me just a little bit more space. But that looks good right there. This looks good right there. So I, all right, I like that. So let's grab these three items and weld it. And then let's, decrease our size. So I think if I push this, let's see exactly, I could go to seven and a half. So at seven and a half inches, so let's change that up here. I'm at 1.3. Okay, and that would look really pretty where um, before you weld your letters, like in this case, if I had moved the R a little bit down, that would have given me a little bit more room to make this, um, for it to be bigger. But um, I think it's okay. This will look nice. As long as it's over an inch, it's gonna cut really nicely. And I love this font because even at 1.3, do you see like even right here, it's not super thin. It still looks really whimsical and you know cute and whatever, but all these lines we made sure, like I love this font and our flourishes are thick, so it will cut and you'll be able to weed it really, really beautifully. All right, so I'm gonna do one more just so that you can see it. Um, and so we, you can either 
make this smaller to match the font or the font to match this but you know it's way easier for, on my eyes if we make this bigger to match the font i mean for the font to match the the flourishes so it looks like i need to make my name a little bit thicker to match that line okay so something like that and then i'm not going to weld it just yet but i'm just going to make this smaller now the other option that you have is if you feel like you still want to make it um, bigger you can always cut down on the size of your flourishes so this is what i mean so let's move this over let's move this one as well And let's make this box. You can cut down on how long this is, then that gives you more options to make your name bigger. So let's do something. Okay, so let's keep it like this so that we know these two are even. I'm kind of putting it on the edge so there's two full squares right in here. And so we're going to cut off. Let's unlock this for a second. So we're gonna go all the way to here to the three little units over. So we're gonna go all the way over here because you still want your flourishes to be even, right? Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to grab one end of the flourish and my square and I'm gonna slice it. Then I'm gonna grab this side and the square and I'm gonna slice it. I'm gonna move this square out of the way. So do you see, I've cut down on my flourish that much, which now means when I put it over here, my name can be longer, right? Because my the flourish isn't quite as long. So you could do something like this. So there's a lot of options here. So let me, um, hmm, it's so slow, there it is, okay. So now, do you see, this is already 1.4, but I'm only at 6.59. So if I made this seven and a half, this one is by far my thickest one because it's almost to 1.6, right? This one was only 1.3. So it gives you a little bit more space if you cut down on how long your flourish is. All right, that is all there is to this tutorial. I hope this helps you and I hope this gives you um, more like oomph to go out and do this and to cut with a new blade on your foil because I know it's I see a lot of complaints about people trying to cut foil and it didn't cut all the way through and it's such a pain in the butt when it does cut perfectly it weeds like butter it's just so nice you pull it up everything comes off the whole project is so much easier when things cut properly so that's why I do like buying those blades and at, at the cost I can you know, throw them out more often. So, all right, that's all I have for you. Please post your comments and questions and let me know what you think. And then if you have any special requests, you can post that here as well. Um, so please give me the details. And then if you need to send me files or anything else, you can send it to ann, A-N, at theuselesscrafter.com. All right, bye guys.